Here we go. Hello, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. We're all here. The gang's all here. The gang's all here. With salt wash. Yes. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Yeah. Happy Thursday, Anne. Uh oh. Let me pull my chat up. We're a couple minutes late. We had a little, little adjustment we had to make. Little little hiccup. If you're on my text list, you got an invitation to join the party live. <laughs> it's it's really Pepper. kind of funny. Does this, does this <laughs> seem better, Pepper? Join the party live. Whoops, sorry. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to hear more than one of me. Do you use any trays or things like this to keep your orders and things separated? Um, I've got some little totes, yeah. I love these little things, especially when we have little projects like this with all the pieces. Right. I seen it was funny because at work, I've been working on, um, well, I haven't been working on it, but I've been watching, there's a 3D printer. And so we've been doing 3D printing at work. And I was back there in the little room that the 3D printer is, and they had these little aluminum trays. And I was like, those would be perfect. They were just the right size. They weren't too big. Right. And uh, I'm going to have to see, find some more because I thought that would be better than, because the totes that I use, I don't, I don't have any over here. They're thick. Yeah. So I don't need that thick. The, the white ones that I use come from, they came from Aldi. Okay. They, they were perfect size. Only thing is they don't have a lid, so I have to be careful not to knock them over. Oh. Terry said, finally catching you live. Yay. Yay, Terry. I'm not even going to yeah. try to say that name. I'm not saying it. <laughs> and <laughs> we, don't, we don't want to butcher your name. It's Terry. I don't even know how to start that. Hello, Mary. Had to go to the live button on your page. The T's are silent. Sassafolius. Sassafolius? I Sassafolius. Sassafolius. Sassaf Sassafalius. Sassafalius. We're not laughing it's, at your name. We're laughing at our yeah. lack of ability to say it. We love you, Terry. Oh, she yes. said yes. But I yay, probably yay. Would, I'll never remember that, though. Hey, I told you we could only go up from where we began. Right. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay. Did you get your... You painted some white on. No. Oh, it's a glare. I was like, it looks like you painted half of it. No. Yeah. Do I have too I much think, glare? It was just a, it's gone now. Hey, it like Joyce. Half of your fence was painted. Hi, Joyce. Hello. Hello. So I haven't painted any of it. Um, so I'm not going to do a base coat. I'm just going to do the salt wash coat, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what we, that, yeah. So you could do it. You can do a base coat if you want to, but you don't have to. So did you get you some chippy? Yucky brushes out. You can um, I need wash, wash it out of the brushes if you want, which I usually do. I know, um, I think Melissa throws her brushes away because she always is grabbing new brushes. But I, I want, I'm a tight wad. I wash mine out. I so. probably wash mine out too. Yeah. Especially these. Yeah. And then you need, um, you got a little bowl, little cups. Yep. This one's probably too small, isn't it? You got to be able to get your paintbrush down in there. Well, my paintbrush will go in there. Yeah. So use it. Now, you can re you keep your salt wash if you don't use all of it. You just need to cover it and seal it. But um, I don't know how long it would last because usually what I do, if I have some left, I just have, well, actually, I have a whole bunch of stuff. Still trying to get rid of things like this. Yeah. Around. I'll just go and put some on it. Even if I just put a little bit on it. And then next time I might put a little bit more. I should have brought one of those boards over here. I've got a board that's got just a whole bunch of different colors of salt wash on it. Once it gets full, then I'll sand it. And then I've got a background for something. I don't waste yeah. it. Yeah. But um, you can save it if you want to. I don't. But like I said, I don't know how long. So, Or you can just throw it in the trash up to you oh terry said she's never done or heard of salt wash wow 
Hey, Sydney. Salt, well, yeah, what salt wash says on the thing, it says for a layered sun and salt air soaked look. It's made with real sea salt. Um, people use it a lot on their furnitures and there's all kinds of different textures you can get from it. Lisa, if you will talk, I will go down and grab that board that Melissa made and show you guys because her that's really pretty. Okay. I'll, I'll go. The, hold Christy hold uses, two sec. It's at the bottom of the stairs. Just give me a sec. Christy uses salt wash quite often. If you follow her at all, you have probably seen her use it. But this is my first time using it. I haven't ever ordered any or got any in. So she got tired of waiting on me and just sent me some so we could <laughs> do this together. And this is, so this will be my first time. So y'all can learn with me and we can figure this thing out. Um, and since she'd never heard, I never heard of it until Christy either. Um, of course, um, our friend Melissa, she sells it on her website and she uses it as well. But it, um, yes, yeah, she is a great friend. So that's what okay. we're doing. And we're doing, actually, we're building the same project tonight too. Um, yeah. We're both members of this design club. Right. Well, I'll show you. This is one that I did. And I don't know if you can tell. But see all yeah. the texture yeah, that you could physically see on there. And it's rough. Okay. I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, this one here, I always talk about if you would let it dry and sand it, you'd get a different look. This was done on a live, so I didn't let it dry. Yeah. So it's real chunky and I peeled it off. I used a scraper, scraped it off. Okay. This one that Melissa did. Oh yeah. Is, is smooth because she put a layer on and sanded it and a layer on and sanded it and a layer on and sanded it. So it's smooth, but yet it doesn't look like it's smooth. Right. But it's real soft. So you have a lot of options with it. Yeah, so if you would let it dry, you could do something along those lines, too. Trina said she thinks she's in the right place now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Pepper, it gives you texture. It gives you texture, chunky, chunky texture. A little and different than, like, crackle, or you can do with a dry brush. See how it's got... Kind of like something that's been sitting on the porch at the beach. Yeah, yeah. And depending on how you put it on, because you can like make swirly marks with it, kind of like plaster. You know, yeah. you have different types of uh, of plaster walls look. So like if you dab it, it's got one way. I mean, it's how you put it on too. So Yeah. But anyway. She thinks she watched that live. You scraped it while it was somewhat damp, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to use, I was going to go all um, grays and blacks because I was going to put this in my bathroom, but I, I then, then my flower stencils came and then I went into the spring mode. So I'll just make another, I don't know what I want to do. This is a really cute, quick little project that we cut out. So yeah. I, could, I was thinking I might use this for my brushes here on my little Lazy Susan or my paint markers. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. paint markers. Ooh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, paint yeah. right here behind. Yeah. Me. So, something That's we'll a good see. idea. So how do we do this? All right, get your paint, okay? And in the bottom of your jug or jar or thing, just put you some paint in there. That, not a lot. You don't need a ton. Okay. Okay. Kind of cover the bottom. Yeah. And then I didn't send you a scoop for the salt wash. Did do you have like yeah. a, just use like a, um, I don't know, a, you got a palette knife or something. That works. Just a scoop, start out a little bit and just put it in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then take a paintbrush or a stick and start stirring it up. About the consistency of brownie batter is the consistency that I like. Now I want brownies. You know, not dripping off, but not uh, not thin. See, I need to add a little bit more to mine. Mine's, uh, ooh, let's see if I can. 
So not, I like it just a little thicker than that. Not as thick as chalk paint, but kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I put just a little bit more in mine just to chunk it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfectly stirred up. It doesn't matter. And you will notice if you do do a project that you are able to let dry all the way, you will notice that when you're sanding it, there's little blue flecks in it. Yeah. Yeah, it's got little blue pieces. And I don't know what the blue is for, but. So then what you want to do is I didn't want to use that brush. That brush is nasty. Um, get you a chippy brush. Okay, where, where this is going to go across on your fence, I would try not to put any salt wash okay. there. Okay, it'll help keep it from attaching. Yeah, because, it, I mean, you could always sand it off. It's not life or death. The project is, doesn't need to go in the trash if you get it on there. But um, I'd try not to get it there. So, but just take your chippy brush and just put some on there. Okay, I'm mixing my other color first. Okay. I'm doing two colors. Okay, I'll mix. Go ahead and mix mine too. Do I want to use that? Yeah. I put too many colors out, you guys. This is really good to use the cheap paints with. The 50 cent or dollar apple barrel paint. <laughs> because, um... You know, you're mixing stuff up. Then you don't feel bad about tossing it either because, you know, you've got, um, you don't have a lot in the paint. I don't have you're mixing You're mixing something with it. Now, if you want to use chalk paint with it, you can, but chalk paint's already thick and you're making it thicker. And sometimes it just gets, it just gets too much. So you got to um, just add some water. So I got to go get me some of that cheap paint. Yeah, you gotta go get cheap paint. Cheap, cheap paint. You know, I got all all the same paint on my paint wall because that can't handle having another brand up there. We'll put this in a little tote. Yeah. And, <laughs> and hide it somewhere. Okay. So, so now. So you got two colors done up? Yeah. Okay. So are I'll these just... together or do I need to pay attention to which side's which? Um, I don't think it matters. I think it's pretty symmetrical. Yeah. I mean, you probably could do both sides because it fits on the outside of this big piece here. Yeah. So, so I don't think it needs, I, to be, it needs to be all, all the sides need to be painted anyway. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get to it. So anyway. All right. So take your tippy brush. Get you some on there and then just just start making blobs. You don't brush it. You just dab it on, right? No. Right. For what we're doing tonight, don't brush it. You can brush it. We can do, um, you can do all kinds of fun stuff. Let me grab a board. Let me see. I've got a... I didn't make some hair. I'm just going to use this board here. But you can dab it like this, okay? And see, so you've got like that kind of texture. If you brush it, it's just kind of a brushy texture. Okay. Like that. But you can also do things like, you could put that, put your brush down and do some swirls like that. And then you have some swirly texture. Another thing you can do that's really kind of cool and I don't have, I'm going to use. Th Hello, Jennifer from Fox and Smocks. Like if you have, let me just grab one. It's easier just to grab one. Terry says she has lots of cheap paint. So you're ahead of the game, Terry. All you need to do is get some thought wash. You can also take like your craft stick right here. And, um. Just grab it like this, kind of like with a like you would with a palette brush, and put it on. Kind of like spreading it like butter. 
Yeah, like you do with a palette brush or whatever. Yeah. But what you can do that's cool about that is you could put it on there smooth like this, you know, like you did with a palette. Then take your thing and make some funky texture pieces on there. Oh, cool. You can do it. You just play. Just play. So I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. All kinds of neat stuff. So anyway, but do one color and then we'll dry that a little bit and then we'll put the next color on because it will um, let, and you know, you can get it blended together if you don't get it dry is what I'm trying to say. So we only need to do one side of the little strips though, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unless you're putting this little fence thing where you're going to see the back of it. But, I mean, I think mine's going to sit against the wall somewhere. And I always get carried away with my first color. And I say this every time I do it. Because I always feel like I have to cover every single little spot. And you don't. I could just put just a couple spot. I spit everywhere. A couple spots. <laughs> and then stop. But... I always, I always go crazy. That's my okay. first one. So we're just kind of dabbing on there. And then just get your, I would dry it a little bit. Pepper said you use cheap paint for dotting too. For what is this? I hear, I don't know what that is. Dotting. 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 I was like, oh my gosh, there's something new I have to have. <laughs> I saw that. I saw you, that face. <laughs> you scared me, Pepper. I was like, there's something I need something I don't have. Mm -hmm. Jennifer with Fox and Smocks does a lot of that foiling stuff. Yes, she does. Um, do you Have you ever done the salt wash, Jennifer? And you know, like Terry says, she has lots of cheap paint. There's nothing wrong with cheap paint. Cheap paint works just as good. It's just a lot, it's a lot thinner. So sometimes you have to put extra, uh, layers on or coats on but there's absolutely enough i've got i've got lots of cheap paint too i got all kinds of paint this purple's apple barrel well when i was in um a paint party membership i got approved to be one of those deco art ambassador people or whatever yeah and they sent me a ton really for free and I really like the paint. So then that's going on my paint wall. Like, well, I can't buy another kind of paint to put up next to it. Because then that wouldn't be pretty. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Because my so. stuff has to be on, you know, it has to be on display. And what is the word? Aesthetically pleasing. Is that the right word? Yeah. This is cool. You guys hear this dryer? It's real quiet and it gets real loud. I think it's about to take a poop. I think I've dropped it one too many times. You do need to try it, Jennifer. Let's right. get a new one. Have lots of colors, Terry. So, yeah, you can have lots of colors that way. Definitely, definitely. Dry. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go to my next color. I kind of dried mine. It's not completely dry. Okay. But um, and then just do your next color. Now. Sometimes what I will do is I will then go back with the top color again. You can do however many layers as you want. And the idea of it is, is when you sand it down, you go to the different layers or scrape it off. However, you're going to do it. Um, that's the idea of it is showing the different, different layers and stuff. Yeah, Melissa would be here and can explain some of it a little bit better than I can because she's used it for a long time, but she's in her um, box live yeah. was tonight. Yeah. So. We'll have her come on a different time. Yeah. I, I asked her to, we did ask her to come on tonight, but she, oh, she already had her box scheduled or she, she almost was going to um, <laughs> change the date. And I said, no, don't do that. It's okay. <laughs> we'll get you. We'll yeah. get you. Oh, and yeah. then my other friend Sharon that does stenciling, she's wanting to join us sometime. So oh, yeah. we're have to set that up too. See? 
And it's like I said, you just keep adding colors. I'm going to add another color just because I can. Just because I can. Nobody's and, the boss of me in this and room. Expected. When my husband's at work, I'm the boss. So <laughs> I'm the boss of this house when nobody else is home. <laughs> That's right. The paint's got all be in order. You know, Pepper knows. Yeah. My paint is not in order, but I am getting to the point. Finally, Lisa, there's colors I need to go get. Oh. I'm finally getting to where. Um, okay. Let me show you the difference here, you guys. Now, this baby pink acrylic from Folk Art. I've had this paint for probably, I've had it for years, so it's thick. So when I put about the same amount of salt wash in there, see how thick that is? And I put about the same amount of salt wash as I did in this purple. This purple is a newer apple barrel. And see how runny it yeah. is? So you just gotta play with it. And I've had this jug of, of salt wash for well over a year and I do use it oh quite a bit. So that's that's the big one too, right? Yeah. So it lasts and I sent Lisa a quite a bit out of it. And see I'm still doing pretty good. So now I where can I get the where can I get the salt wash? I know you can get it on Amazon, but our friend Melissa sells it. So Yeah, junk uh, over on Junk and Craft Treasures, she sells she sells it. Um or you can go I would go over to Junk and Craft Treasures and check out the price that she has and get her link because she has an affiliate link for salt wash that saves you, I, I don't know, I think 10% or something like that and see, you know, what your best deal is there. I don't have a uh, have an affiliate link with them, so I don't have where you can save, so. You need to work on that. I know, I've just never contacted them. I don't think about that stuff. I should. Should. Should do better. Well, that's what I'm here for. I know. I know. So I'm just adding a little purple on mine. I don't know why. I just wanted to. Um, Terry said, is it very expensive? I think that big one was like 35 maybe. It's not super expensive um, because it does last. And now, they, have, they do have a smaller one. Yes, they do. And if you were painting furniture, which is, you know, mainly what it's intended for is for furniture painting, doing the faux textures and stuff, um, you're going to use a lot more. But for crafting and stuff, you're not going to use use a ton. So, and I to know, have you ever made your own? You haven't, have you? No, I have not. My philosophy... <laughs> My philosophy on that is let somebody else do that. Right. <laughs> you know, I, I, agree. Just, I, there's, um, I work full time and I've got two teenage girls. I don't have time. Now, maybe when I the girls are gone or something like that, I might try to uh, make it because I did. I did look it up and it does look fairly simple. I think it's like baking soda and sea salt. Don't, I, saw, I wouldn't start to it. That lady on YouTube, I think it's... Um, mm -hmm. Our, our recycled life or something like that. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, she was doing it with um, pickling salt. Oh, okay. And she just put it down on her board and then brushed over it. And then she, and one time she just spray paint, she put the salt down on her board and spray painted over it and then used it to distress. Oh, that would work too. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's just, you know, whatever you want to do. I yeah. like, also, I like the fact that it's already done. I don't have to think about it or worry about how it's going to come out. Yeah, that's, that's kind of how I think about it, but. Should that lady makes her own chalk paint and stuff like that too. And I'm not doing that either. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of people uh, that make their own chalk paint and stuff. And yeah. I love that, but um, I just don't have the time to mess. That's like that, um. That that coffee antiquing stuff that Tracy uses yeah. all the time. I always I always think I want to make that even if I don't use it, just to have it open in the room because I think it would smell good. Yeah. I don't yeah. know though because I don't like real strong cinnamon, but I'd have to I'd have to try it. And the but vanilla probably think, you know, softens there's, it. There's there's probably an instance that I would use it, but I've just never done it though. Yeah. 
never done it. And when somebody else is using it, I'm always like, oh, I'm going to make some of that. And I, I don't. I do and I don't. Thing. I even printed out the recipe and put it in my project book and still hadn't done it. Oh, Anne said she saw a recipe with kosher salt and plaster of Paris. You know what? Plaster of Paris is hard to find. Is it? Um, okay. We were wanting to do a, what were we wanting to do? My granddaughter and I was wanting to do something with that. And I could not find that anywhere. That might have been a minute ago. I don't know. But I couldn't find it. it might have been when everything started disappearing. Yeah. They were using it so, to make toilet paper. Probably. <laughs> probably. Now, also, when you're drying your um, salt wash, if you've got like a big spot that's real... You can't get it dry. Take a clean brush and just kind of bat over it again. You're not going to lose your texture, but it's going to just help pull some of the excess paint off of there. Yeah. So, you know, just you're just you're playing. Basically, you're playing. Remember when you played in the mud when you were a kid? It's a lot like that. So just make a mess and then we'll make it pretty. Or not. And if you don't, if it turns out ugly, what do we do? We just start over. Start over. Paint over it. We don't make a big deal about it. When we used to paint furniture, Jonathan would always say, we sure do go through a lot of work to perfect a piece so we can beat it up to make it look old. <laughs> right? <laughs> now, see, when my husband and I first got together, I used to own an antique store and a consignment store and an antique store. And he um, he did not understand that at all. He's like, that looks like something that I would have thrown in the garbage. And it's like, no, you better not have thrown something like that in the garbage. And he just, but he's coming around. He's coming around. Uh, he was, Jonathan was the same way. Slowly but surely, he's starting to get it, you know, where I'll see him actually looking at something at the store because, we would we would be looking at something. He's like, I am not paying for something that looks like it's already beat to hell. <laughs> and it's like, and finally he's like, yeah, I think he finally gets it. And like our kitchen table, our kitchen table needs to be repainted. And I've been saying for probably a year now, I need to sand it down and repaint it. He was always like, No, 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 you don't. Now he's like, Well, if you're gonna do it, get it done. And he said, and then he said, Use that spit stuff. I was like, yes, I'm converting him. I'm converting him to liking junk and color. <laughs> yes. Yay. Yay. Well, okay. It makes you happy. Yeah. So, oh, you ended up grabbing another color too? I did. I wanted yeah. to add some purple. Yeah. So, see, we have all this texture on here. And it'll... Well, wherever my camera is, there we go. See all that texture? And it looks like poop, don't it, you guys? It's like, oh my gosh, that looks like something from 1990. It looks Miami like Miami Vice with my colors and stuff. Looks like unicorn poop. Yeah. But it'll, um, we, we'll put white over the top and then we'll just pull those colors back up out of there. Trina said the coffee grind, she's made it. It does smell really good. Not a strong smell to her. You can add as much or as little cinnamon as you would like. Marilyn loves okay. the colors. I'm, I'm sorry, Mary, not Marilyn. I looked at the screen too fast. Yeah. I'm going to have to try it. I have all the stuff down there to do it with. I ought to just do it. I don't have any coffee. I have some coffee because I like to, um, my journal books, I use uh, coffee stain stuff a lot, so... I do that in there. So mine are pretty dry, not completely dry. But like I said, take your blank one and, uh, and help it dry, help it get it dry. But the idea would be to put a layer on super thick and let it dry. And then put another layer on super thick and let it dry. And uh, you know, because when you're adding thickness to it, it's not getting dry all the way down. 
but I don't see anything wrong with doing it this way either because I like I like all this bumpy texture stuff. So Barry, the top coat that you put on, you did not put salt wash in it. Um, right. I don't put I don't you can. You can put more salt wash in. We could take the white and put salt wash in it and just dab over the top. Um, I don't usually do that. That would just add some more texture. I will do that. You just paint the top of yours. Okay. I will add salt wash to mine and we'll see what it looks like. It's the worst that could happen. Absolutely nothing. So. Now, mine's not solid co colored, but that's okay. Yeah, no, no. You can still see a lot of wood through there on mine. Okay. That's why I say if you want to put a base coat in on, you can do a base coat too. And then sand down to it. But you don't have to. You do not have to. You do what you want to do. And like I said, the salt wash, this kind of thing, is just kind of fun just to play with. Because you're actually just playing with paint. You just so need to dry it. it. Yeah. yeah. So I have put way too much salt wash in there. So... Now see, I'll tr I'll rub this on like I was painting it, not just uh, see. That's a real good consistency right there. Now what I could do is I could instead of using a paintbrush, I could do like what I showed you guys a minute ago, and just kind of go across it with this. That looks kind of cool, actually. Now, see, you can still see all that texture in there. And I didn't cover completely, but when that dries, I'll pick some of that off down to the different colors. Yeah. And I just used this. So... And just kind of put it on and then look, I can even scrape it from here. And that pulls even some more up through there. See that? Yeah, just play, you guys. Seriously. Seriously. And how dry do I need to have this before I put my top coat on? Um pretty dry, not dry, dry. It doesn't have to be dry, dry. Um but pretty dry to where you feel like you could put another layer of paint on without it smearing. Without it pulling off, okay. But if it um, if it smears, it's okay. It just adds another part. Of another this part, all part of the character. What naturally happens? Yeah, kind of like crackling. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've never added the salt wash to the top layer. This is kind of cool. I feel like I'm icing cookies or something that? i've never added it to the top and done it this way huh. I'm not so i usually use my brush i'm not gonna put the salt wash on the bottom of the planter box though yeah um because i don't know where i'm gonna put it. i don't have another brush that is weird Hopefully this isn't one of those things where I should have wore gloves. <laughs> no, it's just paint. It'll wipe off. Yeah, it's not unicorn spit. So, um, Marcia didn't you... realize we were Eastern, so she was missed part of it. We're just putting down the first layer. Is Mar Marcia, are you new to salt wash? Yeah, I'm buttering bread. Exactly, Ann. I'm buttering bread. Anybody want bread bread and butter for their supper? No, we already ate. Uh, we, <laughs> we haven't had officially had supper. We went to Ben's Pretzels at the mall and got a pretzel. And all of us are just too full from the pretzel to eat. Now, probably about 9 o'clock we'll all be starving because you know how eating bread like that does to you. Yeah. But uh, my husband went into work early, but we had errands that we ran today. Yeah. And uh, it was good for a treat. It was a good treat. Yeah. 
Yeah. We had to go to Party City because Lillian has a dance tomorrow evening and it's a glow, snow glow dance is what it's called. And so we got some neon stuff. They have a lot of dances. They do have a lot of dances. <laughs> they do. It does seem that way. But yeah, this I don't I don't even know what it's for. They've had Spirit Week all week. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's not homecoming. I don't know. Just for something to do, I guess. But yeah, it's a glow dance. So we bought, she's got a white t-shirt. She's going to just wear a white t-shirt. And we bought a bunch of neon beaded necklaces and got some um, gl body glitter to put on her face. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's what she wanted to do. That so fun. So, so I'm really about good, it. I put a good heavy coat as the top coat, right? Um, Yeah. And I am using chalk paint for my top coat. That's perfect. I just made a mess over here. So I've got it all over my sides. And that's okay because I will just go back and probably do my paint my sides black. Because I got too much on there. That's, I've got actually got a mess right here. <laughs> but what's new, y'all? I'm always got a mess. This, yeah, this is a messy project. Mm-hmm. It is messy. Okay, so let's get these guys. I don't think Patrick or Jonathan would enjoy this. <laughs> get too much on them. Well, I know Patrick wouldn't. And I just slung paint all over my computer. Imagine that. <laughs> I have paint all over everything. My lap, my iPad, I'll take it to work to do something on it and I'll get it out. And there's like little specks of paint all over it. Mine too. My phone, all that stuff. My watch. Yeah. I usually go to work and have paint somewhere that probably shouldn't have it. <laughs> Pepper said the salt wash paint on our hands will give us a little hand scrub. That's right. Hey, there we go. There we go. Okay, Marcia said she's kind of familiar with salt wash. She's watched she work with it many times. I thought I recognized your name, Marcia. Yeah. So I'll be on tomorrow morning doing family photo thing on Craft Around the Clock. And I think Lisa's right after me tomorrow, you guys. Yep. I think I'm on at 8 30 and she's on at 9. So make yep. sure you guys come and say hi to us tomorrow. Eastern time. Eastern, yes. Eastern time. This is kind of cool to add it with the salt wash. It's just adding another layer to it. I've just never done it before. It's just making it extra thick and sloppy, which is what I like. So it's working out perfect. Purple's her favorite color. Purple. Oh, thank you, Trina. That's the ducky door hanger is what we did at our in-person paint party yesterday yes you guys aren't you jealous i'm jealous i was a little bit jealous <laughs> i was like okay stop showing us pictures of that because i want to do that and i want to go to myrtle beach and i want to hang out with my friend lisa and she just keeps rubbing it in my face <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a perfect week to come to myrtle beach i can tell you that is it warm, warm at now oh my goodness it's gorgeous no well it's hot oh yeah but it's gorgeous. It was but we also have the added benefit of pollen in February. So there's that. Oh, uh, yeah. The, um, it was warm. The girls had a two hour delay because of fog. I got off work this morning. I don't know what the temperature was. I'm going to guess it was in the high forties. It got up into the fifties and from the time from Let's say 3.30 to 6 o'clock, it was down in the 30s. And now it's freezing outside and the wind's blowing like crazy. That's Indiana. That's Indiana weather. So I could go for hot right now. I have snow in the mountains of Arizona. Wow. Well, we haven't even been down to the beach this year because every weekend it's rained or been like breezy cold. 
Yeah. And because we like to go down and take a walk on the beach, but I don't like, we don't like to go down there when it's cold. Yeah, I don't blame you. And you got an order from, where'd you get an order from that's coming tomorrow? Maya pre order, spring pre order from Essential Stencil came today. I bet that's what you're talking about. I bet that's what you're talking about. And I did not order everything because I have found. I don't use the transfers, so I didn't order them. I love them. I think they're adorable, but I don't use them. I have probably seven or eight of them stacked up over there that I've never used, never even opened the package. Well, so I was like, girl. you know what? I'm not going to order them because I don't use them. Now, what's going to happen? Oh, from Lisa. Ah. Um, what's going to happen is I'm going to get about. I didn't know what you're talking about sitting over there talking about orders. I was like, what is she talking about? Yeah. And said she had an order coming tomorrow. I thought she meant with, I thought it was all about me, not about you. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but, uh, I just decided not to order them, but now I'll probably be jealous and have to go back and order them, but I didn't order them. <laughs> Mine's not going to be here the 27th. I'm too far away. It takes oh, me forever to get mine. Far away. But it's all right. Oh, gosh, Christy, stick your hand right in wet paint. Oh, see, I've got, this is pretty dry. Dry. I, I was scared using the thicker on top that it would not dry very quickly. And it's drying pretty good. Now, I will tell you this. If you hold the dryer really close to the paint, It'll, it'll crackle just a little bit. As the heat, that, now it, it's not doing that, but it will do a little bit of a crackle too. So it adds the heat to it. Yeah. Could be because you're just melting the paint too. But. So now, so what you can do from this point, I'll show real quick is you can take your, um, your little gator, your little gator. Where's my little gator? He probably fell. But just take your sanding thing. I don't, that's got sand on it. Or that's got something on it. I'm just going to take a little guy here. And you can just start sanding. Now, it does get messy when you're sanding because you're, um, you know, you're sanding off chunks of paint, obviously. I'm going to go along my edges and get where I got my paint over the edges. Okay, and you can just keep sanding down until you get to what you want to get to, the colors. Or, like I've showed before, you can take a scraper and you're just kind of scraping some of the fun colors to come out. And I would go different directions. I would take a bunch off in one spot, not hardly any in another spot. And just make it look how you want it to look. See how I just kind of scraped that off? There. Oh, yeah. See that? So. And when you do that, it still leaves the texturedness. But it just kind of makes it look like you've had it. It's been hanging out for a long time. So. Well, so that one's probably good enough. <laughs> But it is messy when you do this. It is messy. Trina says she's jealous about the duck too, but y'all have a party. I'll have it'll be listed on the website. So I'm thinking maybe you should do an online party with the duck. Because that duck is adorable. I might do that. He, I mean, like, you know, like I I love him a lot. Well, I do have another plan for an online party. Y'all want to see a sneak peek? Say that again. So I do have a plan for a, an online paint party. Do y'all want to see a sneak peek? Yes, of course we do. It's kind of like you can do one or the other, or you can do, if you do both, you get a discount. Oh, and this one will be, you can do this one as a tracer, or you can get the wood cut out. Okay. But here's one of them. <gasps> oh, Moo Moo. Yes. I want that one. I want, that's the one I want. 
and that one. I, I want that. <laughs> I want that one too. Aren't they cool? So they'll Those be are cool. A fourteen inch size and an eighteen inch size, or you can just do the tracer. Oh, I love them. You are so awesome. You come up with the neatest things. I'm excited about them. I love those. Okay, so it's still kind of cool. It's not really dry yet, I don't think. Yeah. That's so probably good enough. Okay. I mean, it's not coming off on my hands. But... Yeah, you're good. You're good. So now just kind of scrape it off or sand it off, however you want to do it. Now, if you're going to sand it, it's going to get up in your sandpaper. Yeah, for the sandpaper. Yeah, so, you know, it's however, that's why I kind of like using the scraper here. It just, you it's can a little easier. And like you said, we're tight wads, so we don't want to waste our standing blocks. Right, exactly. <laughs> we are tight wads. Where's my scraper at? So... You could probably use if you have a palette knife or an old pair it. an old pair of scissors, you could probably do this with too. I got a plastic. Oh, there it is. It's right in front of my face. Anything hard, just to get just to get dig some of that out of there. It's kind of cool, I think. Oh yeah, it's very satisfying. Oh, I just don't dig down into the wood like I just did. My goodness. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. And it's a cow and a Highland cow. I'll hold them back up for you, honey. She she dropped her phone. <laughs> That's so good. I dropped my phone. <laughs> There's a Highland cow. That sounds like something I would do. And then, what is that? A dairy cow? I think so. I think the black and white cows are dairy cows. I, don't know. I just like them. I think they're pretty. I don't know what they are. So now you can, if you wanted to add some more of your color on top, you could go through and add some more color up on the top too. Oh, I like you know, that. You, did it, See? you know. You didn't get enough. Fun. Yay. He is adorable. I love him. I can't. I can't, well, I can't go to town with this or I'll get in trouble. <laughs> so see that? I think it looks cool. I'm talking about I'm, gonna... my, I'm talking about my shoulder, not my mess. Oh, oh, this might hurt your shoulder, Lisa. I didn't even think about that. I didn't either. I'm being gentle. Uh, scrape, 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 scrape. There's a lot of little pieces here. If you're doing a big piece, it don't take quite this long. Yeah. So. I kind of, I kind of like it being the thick on top. I think there's a time and place for it. I mean, if you were wanting, you know, to really dig down to all the other colors, you might want to do the lighter on top. But I have a major mess here on my desk. That's okay. That's what uh, shop bats are for. <laughs> so we've a. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh about this. Been working on our bathroom since what November. We're almost done with this one up here. We had to have a little delay in there, but I'm laughing because um, the reason there's a shop back up here is because of that bathroom. But I think the uh, I'm gonna leave the shop back up here because it was a 
it was nice the other day using it to clean up in here because I didn't have to pick nothing up. I just sucked it up in the shop back. Because <laughs> I don't know about you, Lisa, but like when you're working on the laser, you'll have little chunks of wood fall on the floor, little pieces. And yeah, you know, sometimes I don't get them all picked up. And a regular vacuum cleaner doesn't really like those. No, well. it doesn't. No, but that shop back just sucked her right up. So probably ought to just buy a little one for in here. It's a planter box. Yes, it's a little. It's a little box with. A, it's like a picket fence with a box on the front. You can like sit somewhere and put a little jar in, or like. Like Lisa said, she might put her paint pins in, hang it behind her, and put her paint pins in or something like that. I had to go to the sanding block because the digging was irritating me. Was it bugging you? Now, I do, I do know Miss uh, Melissa, she uses a sander, like, you know, electric sander. Yeah, that would be good on um, bigger pieces. It probably... Yeah. We'd probably tear our fingers up on this. Yeah, it would. But you, um, it would be a lot faster than what we're doing. I didn't even think about that, Lisa. Silly I ass. Didn't, I didn't either. Yeah. It's okay. I'm all right. You can always uh, just get it down as far as you know, just a little ways, and then you could always sand on it some more tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. Didn't even think about that. But, yes, very messy. Very, very messy. I'm going to slide back. And what I usually do is I usually take a... Uh, well, this doesn't have paint on it. Take my little brush, another brush here, and just over my trash can, just kind of get a little bit of the extra off. So, so then when you stencil or whatever you may want to do on it, it, you don't have a bunch of chunks. But this is going to be cute. I bet Lily's going to want this to put over on her little art desk. <laughs> her uh, her favorite colors are purple and pink. So she has a little a desk in her room that she writes in a journal every day. And uh, Well, that's how, how dusty it gets, where one piece is laying on the other. Uh, <laughs> that looks cool, though. Yeah. Yeah. But she journals every day and then she likes to she likes to do craft stuff. That's good that she journals. Yeah. I don't do that. Do you do that? Um, I used to. I don't anymore. But um I got kind of out of the habit of it. You know, so should do that some more. Because that is a good outlet to get frustration out and not just not really frustration, but just to get what went on for the day. Because sometimes in our minds, we think the day was horrible, but when we actually sit down and put it down on paper, it wasn't as bad as we thought. Yeah. Or when you go to vent about it with someone, it's like, you know what? That sounds kind of petty. Yeah. Yeah. Just like lists of things to do. Always yeah. make, I always make lists of stuff I've got to get done because in my head, I've got a million and 550 million, 20 trillion things to do. But then when I get a piece of paper in front of me, it's like five things. It's like, oh, yeah. well, I'm making a, you know, stressing myself out for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So, and it's funny, my aunt... <coughs> Her and her husband, they went to uh, marriage counseling at some point in their life. Um, and their marriage counselor told them something that I thought was cool. And she told me of the, when I got married. She said, they told her every night when you go to bed, you know, you're not supposed to go to bed mad. Right. But her and her husband, every day of their marriage, wrote a letter to each other in bed. 
And on the letter, you couldn't get mad and you couldn't say anything. They each just had to read what the letter said. And you had to write down what their partner did that day that upset them or hurt their feelings and what their partner did that day that made them happy and feel loved. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So it was a thing where they didn't get in an argument, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, no, I didn't do that. You couldn't say anything. But it was also opening up their eyes that, you know, because sometimes, sometimes we do things and we don't realize that we're hurting the people that we love's feelings, you know. Or we say something that we didn't, we didn't mean it that way. Yeah. So it makes you kind of think. So not that my husband and I do that. Shoot. We, <laughs> by the time we get in bed every morning, we're both like. <sighs> right. Exactly. <laughs> By the time that we get there, we're done. Yeah, we're asleep, but, you know. Pam wants to know if Lily enjoyed her dinner at Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> yes, she did. Do you guys love that picture? That was so funny because we took a video of her right, you know, sitting on that saddle. And right there at the end, she kind of stumbled and I got that picture. And it was like, that is hilarious. That's she the goes, best picture. I, that just made me smile so big. Yeah. She said, don't you dare put that on your page. Too late. Sorry. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> but it was funny. Hey, Jeannie, it's okay. It was funny. All right, now you got to help me with the assembly. This is too much, too much assembly required. Well, I would say we should put the box together first so we know the spacing on the fence. Okay. So I'm just going to... Yeah, see, we still got to paint the inside. Just going to start putting glue in these sides together. Just like that. And get my box. And then this should sit down inside it. So Those you're doing these as the outside pieces? What we painted? Yeah. And then we can go back and paint the out inside later. Yeah. Yeah. So see, it's gonna just go together I'm like get that with that, put, with that floor in there. I'm gonna put something under it so I don't get glue all over my, I just finished replacing my mat. That's a good idea. I'm gonna grab my glass mat because it'll scrape off of it. Oh, that's what I need to get. I have one of those too, I just don't ever get it out. I like this thing because I can just scrape it clean. Oh, you're going to love mine. Oh, oh, with the mesh. Oh, that's like a hot pad thing. Yeah, it's an old corning one. That is awesome. Don't tell Patrick. He'll put it on eBay. <laughs> Don't be watching, Patrick. Don't be watching. I've got little chunks of salt wash on the backs of my stuff. I'm just kind of scraping off. So anyway, so yeah, there's my base. So I'm just going to like do the corner and start getting it squared up. Like I'm going to glue like this together. Let's yeah. start right there. I'm using the stick fast CA thick. Thick. Lisa uses the sure bonder. Star is star bond. Star bonder. I always get them mixed up. Shore bonder is the hot glue. Oh yeah, you're right. Hi there, Deborah. Hey y'all, if you haven't already done it, we would really appreciate some thumbs up. YouTube likes that kind of energy. Yes. If, if you haven't subscribed to both of our channels, both well, obviously you can subscribe to mine right there, but. Christy's links are also down in the description. All of our links to all the things. We appreciate y'all being here with us. Yes, we do. We greatly appreciate it. We're just trying to build up our YouTube. So if something happens on, on the Facebook... <laughs> So, I'm just going to hold that for a second. Are you doing your painted side up on the bottom? I did, yeah. I did too. Okay. Yeah, because the bottom really don't matter. 
No. And I didn't really want the salt wash stuff on whatever I ended up. Yeah. And I will probably, the inside of this box, I'll probably just take white paint and just paint it. Me I'm too. not going to like try to try to do anything fancy with it. How absurd. So. And, you know, it's just like anything. If you, um, if we would clamp this up and let it sit, it would dry real good. But who's right. got time for that stuff? Nope. Not me. Don't glue your hand to it, though. And don't glue it to your table, either. I keep moving it to make sure I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I should have cut my little um, steps. I didn't adjust my steps for the thickness of my wood. I should have uh, cut my little things deeper. But hey, that's why we always make one before we sell them or put them on the website so that we can work out any little boo-boos like that. Trina, we did not, well, we know how to go live on both pages, but um, YouTube does not like that. They don't like the same content to be put on two places. So we just take turns. Yep. But that could change. They're always changing. Yeah. And it's mainly because of people who are monetized and who are doing things that trying to like double dip and get money from two places for the same accounts and things like that. So, okay. We're not the team that stresses over that stuff, right? No, we don't stress over things like that at all. That's just like when we get this all done and you see how beautiful Lisa's is, <laughs> she will have these on her website. <laughs> so. And yes, we argue about those things behind the scenes too. <laughs> So there we go. Yeah, because I didn't cut mine all the way down in, mine's not perfectly square, but it is perfectly fine for me. Now, see, this will be cute to put, like, um, you know, if you set it in your bathroom, you could put two little, not, not fake cups, not cups like this, but two little jars that have, like, cotton balls or... Look at it! Something like that. I love it! Lisa, that looks amazing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fence and I'm going to kind of line it up with my board here or my box. So I'm going to decide it's... which side I want to be my front. So I know what it's the width that it needs to be. And I can look at my facing. Now, you could get real particular and take like something and set your spacing. You're going to do that, aren't you? No, I'm going to really try not to. I'm really going to try not to. But well, I really want to. <laughs> you're a tool maker. It has to be precise for you. I'm not doing that. Yeah. You can do that if you want to, but don't judge me. I'm not. I don't think I'm going to. And I'm going to make the outside one stick out just a tish. Like maybe an eighth of an inch out. Or just a little bit. An eighth of an inch. Listen to you. Yeah. Yeah. We work in microns. Do you know what a micron is? No, I don't want to know. Oh, okay. <laughs> if, anybody, if anybody would like to know what a micron is, a micron is about a fourth of a thickness of a piece of hair. Oh, Lord. Yeah. We, oh, I can't do that because then my little cross member board is too short. Yeah, so... Let's go back in. Go back in. And that little bit of difference will make a big difference in your project, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, since we make the engine for the Jeep Wrangler, you want us to work as close as possible, right? Yeah. So. But, yeah. Yeah. So do you get like employee perks for purchasing vehicles? Um, we get an employee discount. Yeah. That's cool. So 
the friend, friends and family, our friends can do it too. They don't get as much of a discount as we get, but they do get a discount. It's I'm not, not like a ton of money. Perfect. Ton of money, believe me. But every little bit helps. That's right. I almost bought a new vehicle the other day. I remember I told you about that. My van was acting up, so I almost got a new Jeep. Yeah. But um, I decided to wait. My lease, I we lease our, well, I lease my vehicle. My husband's Jeep, he has a Jeep Gladiator. I have a van. And uh, we lease our vehicles. But he absolutely loves that Gladiator. So he's thinking, originally he was thinking about buying it. And then that day that we were looking at Jeeps and stuff, he was say, thinking, well, maybe I'll turn that one back in and get a brand new one and buy it. So we get the new vehicle sickness and have to. <laughs> I know, I know. It makes it hard. But I've still got two years on my lease. so Or not two years, but a year on my lease. So, thank you, guys. Thank you for sprinkling. It, it, they, well, you can't, you can't really share. It's not like posting. You can't, like, you share Hearts Desires live on Facebook to Funky Junk on Facebook. You can't really do that on YouTube. And um, there's, like, a lot of rules on YouTube, which are legitimate because people you know, really not being honest and having permission to share content. So that's why they have it in place. Now see, you could glue that on there. Now see if you really, if we'd have made it go in even farther, we could have just set that inside there. Oh, but. wow. Yeah, we could have. Yeah, but if we would have thought about that first, you know, it's too big to go down in there, but made it fit slide down inside there. But that would have the, been kind of cool. Then we would need to adjust the bars, though, because then they would be too long. Yeah, but I think they would look all right if they stuck over a little bit. I don't think that would look bad. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I mean, I don't know. We'd have to do it and see. <laughs> but, yeah, you could adjust the length of that if you wanted to. See, there we go. Pretty. Pretty. Now, the screen door that Lisa did, I thought she used salt wash on it. She did her... Um, it's right behind me. Yes. I thought that looked like it had salt wash on it, too. And she just did that with paint. So, I'm going to have to cut the screen door and make one now. I haven't done that yet. It's on my, my ever... I'm you guys, I am sitting here holding this wanting to know why it's not sticking. And I didn't put any glue on it. <laughs> I'm like, why is that not sticking? Before I start a YouTube page, how can I get my last? So um, Facebook makes it a little um, treasure hunt to find how to download your videos. But there is a way you would just download your videos off of Facebook onto your computer or whatever. If you have like a store, an external drive or something to save it to, and then you just upload them. I, I use um, this app right here to do mine. I'll show you. And I don't know if that's uh, it's wanting me to update it. See this app right here called Friendly? Yeah. I use that to download my videos. When you open it up, it's one to update or I'd show you. When you, um, we'll, we'll just see how long it's going to take. Um, Mine's done. Look how cute that is. It's very cute. Very cute. But anyway... When I open it, let me just show you real fast. And my little chunky markers fit perfectly in there. Like it pulls up my YouTube, but I can also pull up my 
all my other accounts too. It'll let you do Facebook? Yeah. And so I can pull up my Facebook and um, it's not working very fast. But it actually next to my live, I'll pull up where my lives are and it will actually uh, see I hit I hit that little cloud button up there at the top. Yeah. See right here, it shows a bunch of stuff. I don't have any videos because this is my regular page. I have to switch over to my other page, but it would show all my lives and I could hit that button right there and download it to my phone. Nice. Well, there you go. That's awesome. So that friendly That's app works pretty good. I'm not an expert spelled, on it. Is it spelled like friendly? Friendly. Like yeah. Friendly. And it's got that little... A little funny looking guy on it. Okay. Right there. Is that a free app or a paid app? You can do both. I do the free. I don't pay for it. But they do have a, a paid version. And they just recently started the paid version. And I have not checked into it. That's on my that's on my list too to look at. That's how I download my videos because I never could figure it out on Facebook. But I don't have patience. If I can't figure something out in five minutes, I'm like Mad. Well, they, they change it every time. Yeah. So here's the screen door. Yes. Look at the screen door. Look at it. I love that. See your little picket fence kind of matches it a little it, bit. It does. Imagine that. I use the same colors. There you go. There you go. So you got to go ahead and get the inside painted. Well, I can't handle that brown when I'm showing what it looks like. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I thought, well, I won't say nothing. I'll just wait till we're done. But you're I doing it. Do I'm it. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's put like tons of paint out here. Yeah. See, I think yours is a little bigger than mine. I cut mine out kind of small. How, did you resize it? Yeah. You use Friendly too, Trina? Does she? Oh, I didn't pull my YouTube back up on my phone. I can't see comments in front of me. I have to hit the chat button. I don't know why it does that. I have to hit chat, and if I hit chat, um, then I can't see what we're... I can't see... Lisa's face. So I don't know why it does that. That's what you use, Trina. That's cool. Yeah, I've had some. I've had pretty good luck with it. I mean, it took I've me never a while. Heard of that. How in the <laughs> world? Why have you not told me about it? I mean, come on. Well, because you already do it, so I just thought you already knew the, all the ins and outs. I should have told you about it. You're holding out on me. What else have you not told me? I don't think anything. I think I tell you and show you about everything. <laughs> 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 and see, I have to, when I download my videos, this is so silly. It's when we go to McDonald's because I connect to their Wi-Fi and it goes faster than on my data here at home because our Wi-Fi here at home is just a hot spot. And to download an hour long live takes a few minutes. Oh, but if yeah. I steal the wife, I don't, it's not always McDonald's, but sometimes it is. <laughs> if I'm somewhere that has free Wi Fi, I will click a couple videos and get them downloaded. But that's which is something I need to do. I've got some more that I need to get moved over that I haven't done. I was thinking about going back and getting some of the old ones too. Cause I've been going live for over a year now. So I've got, I've got videos on there to do. Just finding the time to do it. Just finding the time. Yep. There we go. But finding time to do all the things. Yeah. It can be a little overwhelming sometimes. Well, that's a lie. It can be overwhelming a lot of the times. Yep. Because you feel like you have to do it all. And you don't. And you and we don't. We don't need to do it all. You know? But I do know, you know, especially people that are just if anybody's on here that's just starting out doing lives, you don't have to do it all. Nope. You, you feel like you do and you see you get that FOMO 
and you feel like that you're going to miss something, you're not going to miss anything. If somebody's doing something you're not doing, you don't have to do it too. And what have we learned? We've learned that it's actually more beneficial to not. Right. Do it all. Right. Because you can concentrate on, you know, just like, well, Lisa has been working on her Pinterest and she's, uh, I'm speaking for you and you could get mad if you want. She, has, <laughs> she took the time to stop messing with a bunch of other stuff and has been working on her Pinterest and her Pinterest page. You guys looks amazing. Very jealous of that. <laughs> But I'll get there. That's not what I've been working on, you know? So I don't have to go in and spend every waking hour fixing my Pinterest, fixing my YouTube, fixing my Facebook page, fixing my in, um, Instagram. Just pick something and do it. Work and on work it. on it and get it to where you want it, to where you feel comfortable. Because I can remember when I first started on Facebook, I was so confused on everything. Everything was so confusing to me. And every time I went live, it was a major ordeal. And then after the live, getting stuff shared. And if I wanted to post a picture, it was just, it was a very overwhelming. Now it's not. And so, you see, when you first start out, you see other people doing all this stuff. And, you, and it's like, you have to do it. But the people that look like they do all that stuff, a lot of them have somebody that does that stuff for them. Yeah. The, the bigger crafters. Yeah. Have they have somebody that does stuff for them. Also, they're not really doing all of it. <laughs> right. And it's best to, everybody's life always looks better. Yeah. When you're trying to do something new, you know? Mm-hmm. And you think you got to be like everybody else and you don't. Just be you and that's the best thing to be. Be who you is. That's it. So. Especially, I think, in the creative world, because we're, we're creatives because that's what makes us tick. We're created to be creative. And that's supposed to be a source of healing and happiness and peace. And when we throw all that other stuff in there, it takes away the joy of what we were created to do. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. That's exactly right. The, you know, the old saying, stop and smell the roses. Yeah. Stop and smell the roses, people. So I think that looks cute. I like him. I like, I like him a lot. I do too. I'll have to get Jonathan to help me scrape more off. Yeah. Yeah. And so you could put, this would hold some paints in here. Your little little bottles of paint. This would be cute to like, if you have a project that you're getting ready to work on, you could have this um, little project box. That's a good idea. Yeah, a little little spot to put your what you're working on in. Or like I said, in the bathroom, you could put stuff in or some jewelry in or just flowers. I mean, if you like flowers and like having that stuff around, you could put some flowers in there. I think he's cute. Ooh, you know, you could change that out for different holidays. Like we could put Easter stuff in there. Yeah. And then we could put some spider webs for Halloween. Lisa, that looks really good. I don't know if you need to scrape any more off or not. I think that looks really good. Just enough. And we had talked about putting stencils on it, but I don't think I want to. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about these new ones of these. That's these flower mini tags. Yeah, you just got to keep rubbing that in. Yeah. That you got yours and I didn't. <laughs> I'm teasing. So, I like it. I think it's great. Fun project. Fun, fun project. Yeah, and then my little fat Poscas. You know, they're so short and stubby. It's hard to find stuff. Oh, very, but look, they fit in there perfectly. That that is absolutely perfect. Mine are the long ones. I like these little short fat ones. I just got a whole big order of pasta markers in last week. Yes, mine are the big long ones. See? Look at there. That's perfect. Perfect. You, you don't have any of these with the big chunky tips? Uh, no. These are 
I might have to get some. All I have is this the this size ones. And I've seen you use the thin tipped ones too. I don't have any of those either. I don't like the thin tip. You don't? Mm -mm. I have one black thin tip that I use in case of emergency. <laughs> I don't like them. They, they splatter more. Do they? Yeah. Huh. Now, see this where I was playing? See that texture on there? That's beautiful. That looks like a seahorse. See, I'll have to. This is going to be my new, my new add to board. Color board. So, I love this. this is a cute that little project. That's a good idea for us to do this project. I think it's cute, too. I like it. Christy picked the project this time. <laughs> we have to figure out what we're going to do next time. Yeah. Yep. Have to um, do something fun. Maybe we should knit or something or crochet. <laughs> you know, I said that. Okay. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> I got the mom look. I don't, I don't get to use that look very often. So you're welcome. I'll show you what I bought. What did you buy? You're not going to believe it. Wasted that pan. Are you ready? I'm scared. You did not. What are you going to do with that? Look, look how thick it is. I know. I... <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Too funny. Too did funny. You, did you bunch his? Did you do that too? <laughs> well, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. I ain't going to be getting nothing, that's for sure. <laughs> I was, a, I, I, yes, I had it, but I was afraid to show it to you. I'm going for that this weekend to wrap my bunny wreath. Yeah, that's, that'd be cool. Oh! Okay, but you wrap his ears in it. Oh, so you wrap his little ears. Adorable. I love that. Yay. Yeah. Actually, Lisa, I didn't just recently buy this. I bought this a long time ago and it's been sitting over there. Well, we just bought it. Jonathan went with me, so I wouldn't be afraid. <laughs> that aisle is scary. I uh, I don't remember what I bought that for, but I bought it to make something beautiful, but I don't remember what. Hard telling. Hard telling. Hard telling. So, if you guys have any ideas of fun things you want us to try to do, you we're let us know. We're to try anything. No yarn. Yeah. Yeah, we're not knitting or crocheting. Mm -mm. So, I did buy um, Pet Brush. For my macrame. I have one of those. Yeah, well, I was using a plastic one and, and I finally broke it. Well, so, I'll tell you. Tightwad me. I don't use it though. Uh, Tightwad me. I kept thinking, I don't want to spend the money on that. I don't want to spend the money. It was $3. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I just buy the stinking thing and be done with it. So now I'm up to a macrame project. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I have, macram I have macrame cord. That's macrame cord's acceptable. Yeah, just not one of those funky projects you sent me a month or so ago. With <laughs> it was just a few knots. <laughs> you would love this. Oh, where is it at? Ah. Oh. I'll have to show it to you sometime. I have a chandelier that I made on my page out of embroidery hoops, three different sizes. And I hung um, uh, tassels made out of yarn on it. I'll just send that to you. <laughs> yeah, you should. Thank yeah, you. it was so many. <laughs> So it was, it was a great idea until I started doing it. It was like, I am never going to get done with this thing. Like the because yarn course, bow. It was yeah. like the yarn bow. Yeah. Three layers. Of, where did I, it was sitting right there. I told my granddaughter she could have it and hang it in her room. Maybe she came, finally came up and got it. 
She must have because it was sitting right there. But anyway, yeah, if you guys think of something, let us know. Let us know. You've never done macrame? Trina has a quick question about Pinterest. I never really used it, so I don't know to actually get what I need off of it, Lisa, when you have time. Help me with it. Help her, Lisa. Help her. I will. Help her, help her. You guys, tomorrow I am going to, oh, I'm going to attempt this tonight. I'm going to take this picture here. I have an inkjet printer. And everything you read, you need a laser printer to transfer onto something. Right. And, but I was watching one lady and she did it with this liquid tech or yeah, this matte medium that I like to use to decoupage with. I'm supposed to cover this with it and then lay that down on there and let it dry for about three minutes and then I'll transfer to this piece. I'm going to try it tonight and then that's what I'm going to do in the morning if it works. If it doesn't work, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> If it doesn't work, I'll take the picture and put it on this site and put salt wash around it. There you go. There. I love this picture of my three grandkids. No, oh, I do too. So I got it in color too. But we'll see if that works. I'll let you guys know in the morning if it worked or not. But that's it. And Lisa's got a really cute project too. So yeah, mine's mine's special. Yes, it is very special. That one's special too. I didn't mean that. For the people. Oh, who yours, is, yours is extra special. Extra special. And we'll try Trina says try. she needs the fencing for sure. So Anne's never done macrame. We're gonna have to do some macrame, Anne. I love doing macrame. It's time consuming though. So you gotta you gotta it's good to sit down and watch TV and do it. Yeah. Yeah. If you're gonna actually make, you know, like a planter holder or or that Christmas tree I sent you that didn't look that hard, Lisa. <laughs> Time consuming, though. Time consuming. You got to want to do it. So, but anyway, well, we probably better get off here. Yeah. Time to talk. See y'all in the morning. All righty. I'll Bye. see you guys later. Bye.